my wife's diagnosis, I was in, um, what was it, 1982, which was a long, long time before my diagnosis and at a time when I was a lot less informed about cancer and we didn't know what the consequences would be. We had three young children and we didn't know whether they'd have a mother in six months' time. So um, it had an enormous impact. The Alliance Lab was created because we believed that if we brought together Medimmune's antibody discovery technology with Cancer Research UK's oncology biology expertise in a more formal collaboration, um, then we can get the scientists within those two organisations working side by side to accelerate the discovery of novel diagnostic and therapeutic antibodies. So there are a number of challenges with of trying to treat cancer. Part of it is to do with cancer isn't just one disease, but it is actually many diseases, all of which have some very complex biological processes going on. So we are working on several different biological mechanisms to beat cancer. For example, we know that cancer cells have the ability to prevent a patient's immune system from working. And what we want to try and do is block the effects of those cancer cells, um, restore the patient's immune cells so they continue to fight cancer. Um, and this type of approach is called cancer immunotherapy. The immune system recognises anything that's foreign in the body. So if you have a common cold or you know, any bacteria or viruses, and essentially it fights to get rid of it and get it out of the body. And cancer cells should be recognised by the body as foreign objects and eliminated. However, somehow these tumours are very, very smart and they engineer ways in which they can prevent the, set, the body's immune system from targeting them. Therefore, by doing this, cancer cells are just allowed to keep producing and replicating and therefore the body, all its defence mechanisms of trying to get a foreign object away or trying to kill those cells is just completely overrun. So thanks to research so far, uh, the UK survival rates have doubled in the last 40 years for cancer, um, but there are still, still some challenges to be met. We operate as a, a, a mini research drug disc antibody discovery unit. We pride ourselves on being very efficient and very flexible. Scientists find themselves having to move between functions and learn the whole drug discovery process. That's one of the exciting things about our lab. Because we're small, we're flexible and you know the, the scientists are keen to learn and develop and learn new aspects of the drug discovery process. Um, I have a doctorate in biophysics so the science, the technology, um, is something that is well within my professional uh, ambit, if you like. But having worked in the sector, um, I know how expensive research is and how long it takes. I work on the basis that it'll take however much money it takes to develop these treatments. There are many different types of cancer which have high unmet medical need. As we said, the rare cancers and the hard to treat cancers. And so in order to be able to treat those types of cancers, we need to get more investment, further investment in research, in both clinical, academic and business research. The cost of research, both to the industry and to people like Cancer Research UK, is astronomical. And I think it's particularly important that the general public acknowledges the style of work that is going on.